Hi guys, David Michael here. I got one of my favorite tea mushrooms. It's a medicinal mushroom. This one I'm going to show you with caution because there have been some people that have adverse reactions to consuming this mushroom. Always cook all of your mushrooms that you find. Um, when I first ate this, I ate a small portion. I thought it was great. A lot of people want to eat this more than they want to dehydrate and turn into mushroom teas. I'm a mushroom tea kind of guy and I like the medicinal value of this and as much as I like eating it. This is kind of a poor specimen because it's sun faded and starting to get old. I do not know yet whether I'm going to harvest this one until I cut it for this video. This is Laporiatus cincinnatus which grows on wood on the ground around trees and there's another one Leoporiatus sulfurous which is this sulfur shelf that most people are familiar with that usually grows on trees themselves now I heard rumor of another one that grows on conifers but it's supposedly way north of where I live and there's not too many reports on it but it grows on conifers these grow on hardwoods oaks mostly this is a big black oak that lightning struck and then it finally fell been here long before me it was here when my granddad was here anyway I want to cut this and show you some distinguishing features now normally this is a bright orange but this one is sun faded the Cincinnatus has white pore surface underneath it whereas Leopatus sulfuranus has this beautiful beautiful yellow underneath so it's striking mushroom when it's fresh and this one seems definitely clean enough that I'll be harvesting it um, what I do for this mushroom when I dehydrate it is I dehydrate the whole of the mushroom but when you're eating this you're gonna want to trim off these soft shelf edges and fry them up and a lot of people say it tastes like chicken I say it has the texture of chicken but it does not taste like chicken. It has a flavor all its own. Some people have even cooked these up and just put them on a sandwich like it was chicken. You can see the orange underneath here where I cut. This is how bright orange it would be. And I don't know whether this camera is going to pick up the beautiful orange of that. But you, this one's sun faded. You'll know when they start to deteriorate, they'll turn a real gray white and they'll just be falling apart in your hands and this is still pretty firm a lot of moisture in this mushroom and all of the species of this mushroom so when you dehydrate it it takes quite a while sulfur shelf mushroom do your own research when you do try it for the first time if it is the first time you try it eat a small portion put the rest in the fridge and see how you respond the adverse reactions that some people have had um, hasn't been pinned down to anything you just want to make sure I've personally never met anybody that had a problem with it I fed this mushroom to my children I fed it to my wife um, it's one of my favorites and whatever I get extra of this like I said it gets dehydrated and becomes mushroom tea happy foraging guys